All right, to get started, just uh, open a new project. You can name it whatever you want to. I'm naming it XR Core Interaction Demo. Click Create. Okay, so go to Window, go to Package Manager, and install a few packages. Uh, make sure that you have Show Preview Packages checked, and then just type XR. Okay. So we're going to be downloading four packages, XR Plugin Management, XR Interaction Toolkit, AR Foundation, and depending on which device you want to test on, uh, either AR Core or AR Kit. For this tutorial, I'll be using AR Core. Okay, so go ahead and download XR Interaction Toolkit. And then just go ahead and expand this and check whether you are installing the latest version or not. Yeah, click install. Okay. Similarly, go for AR Foundation and just see which is the latest version. I think it's uh, preview 0.5, 4.1.0. Go ahead and install it. And then we're going to be installing AR Core XR plugin. So 4.1.0 and install. All right, we're done with the packages. Now what we're going to do is remove the main camera and then just go to XR and get AR session, AR session origin and then the default plane we're going to be needing one more uh, that's placement interactable okay so all right so once you add AR placement interactable the XR interaction manager gets added automatically so don't worry about that and also a queue okay so this queue will be used as the object to be placed in the user's environment. All right, so now go to session origin and add the following components. That is uh, AR Ray Cost Manager, as well as AR Play Manager, and that's all. Also, expand this, go to AR Camera, and tag this as the main camera. Make sure you do this step. Please don't forget it and uh, also the component gesture interactive cool all right so here you can see that the plane manager needs a plane prefab so what are we going to do is we're going to make a prefab of the default plane and we're going to be dragging and dropping so how do we do that is simply drag and drop it over here make it a prefab and go to AR session origin drag this AR default plane over here now you can delete that from the scene and then go to AR placement interactable scroll down as you can see here the placement prefab is the game object to place when a ray cast from a user touch hits a plane in simple words it's just uh, you know as soon as the user taps on his phone the game object gets placed whatever object you place over here it'll just get placed in the user's environment in our case we are just going to spawn this queue so make it a prefab and then delete it from the scene go to placement interactable scroll down and then simply do that and that's basically it so I'm just going to reduce the size of this queue. I'm just going to be making it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. Okay. And then just save the scene. And then now it's ready for build. 